It's the Cauldron of Blood with Boris Karlov. Uh, film 1967 in Spain, finished 1968, released 1970. After Karlov had passed, uh, released in the United States 1971. Original Spanish title, The Corpse Collectors, I believe is the correct title. Yeah, he plays a, a, a blind sculptor and uh, his wife uh, provides him with the uh, skeletons upon which he uh, makes his uh, sculptures. Here's the Blu-ray by Olive Films. Uh, 2012 was, I think, the uh, year that it released. And essentially, it shows the same print as on the NTA VHS over here. And the uh, Crypt Keepers Collection DVD out of UK, running about 139 minutes and an assorted change. Uh, don't know if there actually is an uncut integral print. The Spanish version is uh, missing the opening section, but its murder scene is is uncut. The rest of these, they all have the, the, the murder scenes and the, uh, the big bathtub scene, if you know the movie, are, are cut in all of them. I do have a completely uncut version on DVD-R. I also have a tape on DVD-R by Vampix. I think that that might show a complete print of the film, but uh, a, a friend of mine who's a collector made his own composite print showing the entire 140 minute version and it does make a difference the story with me in the movie it showed on monster movie matinee when i was eight maybe nine would have been have to have been after 1973 or 1974 because they used the music for the star trek cartoons in it from the filmation Sound Library, the guy who made the American version, Edward Mann, held the rights to all that music. So he used music from cartoons that we were familiar with in the film. And it freaked the heck out of me. Uh, they'd show it every, every once in a while on television. And uh, lost track of it for many years. Rediscovered it when I was collecting Movies again, and here is a new arrival in the form of the release by Republic Pictures Home Video, showing what I think is the same print on the NTA tape, the Crypt Keepers collection, and the Blu-ray. We will, of course, keep the plastic intact. It appears to be the original factory uh, plastic low-budget film it has kind of a bad reputation because it came at the end of Karloff's career and he was almost incapacitated. Nice heat transfer printing there on the side. There's our Republic Pictures home video label. 95 minutes is what they're stating on this, so that might be even a more reduced print. That's along the same lines as the Blind Man's Bluff. Uh, assembly here by Vidcrest with a 1982 uh, production date on the back, which I've only just recently obtained. This one tries to say it's 101 minutes, and it's more like 95. And this is from Holland showing the Blind Man's Bluff print that runs a little bit shorter than what's on the Vidcrest tape. This is actually the shortest version of the film that I've got here on the table. DVD from Spain by Divisa, 2005 release. You can find it. It's worth having because it's got the uh, murder scene uncut. And I think the bath scene might be uncut, you know, although I can't recall. But it's missing the whole opening thing on the airplane with the main character introducing himself. Kind of important. It's one of those films, as I call it. Appreciation for it has nothing to do so much with, with the film itself as when I encountered it or under what situation I encountered it. And the thing that I, I like to say about Cauldron of Blood is that it was one of the first horror movies I saw that didn't have 
like Frankenstein or Dracula or King Kong or some sort of, you know, standardized uh, monster. Instead, it was this twisted Spanish-made pseudo giallo thriller with a macabre or and uh, Boris Karloff. And actually, a pretty effective performance, I think. I think he does great. I don't know. I don't understand people who have a problem with Karloff's performance in these films or the uh, Jack Hill Mexican horror films that he made at the very end. I think they're fine. What's, what's, what's the problem? So we're going to go enjoy some art horror, as I call it, and we'll give you a report. Cheers. Miles and miles and miles.